Well, I went to the thrift store again. I was actually looking for some curtains, but I found um, some creepy dolls instead. This girl uh, did not actually come from there, but had been given to me by my mother because um, she knows that we watch anime and, and collect some Japanese things here and there. So she thought that she would give me this um, enormous doll. Uh, she's, I don't know, um, two and a half feet, three feet tall almost. She's actually a really good size for a child uh, for Halloween, so I actually really love it. She, she got it for me at a yard sale or something. Uh, price tag <laughs> reads $2. Um, but what's really hilarious is that because this is a collector's doll, uh, the original price tag is listed thusly. <laughs> anyway, as my card runs out of memory, um, <laughs> here are actually the dolls that I that I picked up at the thrift store. Uh, dolls and doll heads, which is really kind of awesome because doll heads are really, really useful for Halloween too. And these, um, I'm not sure what these were originally supposed to be for. Uh, they're plastic faces. Um, there's a bunch of them that are loose, and then there's a couple of them that are packaged. Um, I'm not really sure how old these are. Uh, it's really kind of hard to say. I'm By the look, I'm guessing maybe 70s, um, especially since they all sort of seem to be from the same era. Um, so yeah, this is actually what I what I really bought. I'm thinking I'm actually just gonna like punch holes in the sides of these heads and make a garland out of them, and then just sort of paint them in really strange colors, and then maybe like make a string of clown heads or a little mini string of clown heads or something. I don't know. I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do with them, but they're all going to be rather nice for creepy creepy child doll display.